I'm pissed. Um, so Carmelo Anthony traded to the Thunder like that. Like that. They they came they came to an agreement like that. Rock has been talking to the Knicks for two months. Can't get a deal done. What the hell is going on, man? How is Carmelo? How does Carmelo Anthony end up on the Thunder when he's seconds away from being on the Rockets? I don't understand that. I don't understand that. You didn't want to play with Chris Paul, man? You didn't want to play with Chris Paul? <sighs> so yeah, I'm pissed, man. I don't understand. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, but this is this is uh, Melo's press conference or whatever. Somebody got a question. Yeah, somebody got a question. I got a question. Yeah, Carl, I got a question. Whenever the, the possibility of you coming to Oklahoma City was brought up, the common, common theory was you would never want to play in no Oklahoma City. I said nobody would really knew me, but. So my question is what? Uh, of course you're going to want to play with Westbrook. And then and Paul George. You're going to want to play with them. It's not about that. It's, bro, you was about to be on the Rockets. First of all, it happened. Happened so fast, so quickly. Yeah, like that. Like, like you know, that. I had to make a, you know, a quick decision. Um, but believe it or not, Oklahoma City was a team that uh, that, I, that me and my team talked about. Uh, we discussed it, uh, and if the opportunity presented itself, uh, where as though we can kind of bring a deal to the, you know, to the next organization is something that. Uh, both parties feel comfortable with. This was, a, this was a team, this was an organization, this was a city that I had no problem coming and you know, being a part of. Well, how much did Russell and, and Paul play a part in that? A lot, man. A lot. You know Russell. You know, Russell don't really do the convincing. Uh, <laughs> you know, he came to New York, uh, with, you know, played pickup at, you know, at my gym. I saw him in Paris at, at Fashion Week. Uh, you know, me and, me and Russ became close. Close and close Russ don't seem like the friendly type. <laughs> he don't seem like he don't seem like the friendly type. Yo, bro, come on, Oklahoma City. We gonna we gonna go out. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. You gonna have fun in Oklahoma City. You come. That's not Russell Westbrook. You know, on the court, uh, I wanted to be a part of that. Uh, and PG was just another reason why. I oh my to come God, in. they got Paul George. You know, our relationship. They got Paul George and Carmelo Anthony. Uh, I respect Russell Westbrook as basketball players. Oh my God! How did Melo end up on the Thunder? Oh! You know, it's a different energy, you know, a different focus, a different motivation that myself had, Paul has, and Russ has. Being, you know, being that we haven't won a championship yet in our career, we see that, and that's our ultimate goal. Come. That's everybody's ultimate goal, man. Kind of like a love letter to New York saying goodbye, everybody. When you look back at Nuggets, how would you reflect on the time of the Knicks and how do you think, or how do you hope fans will remember the rest of that? I think you have to ask those fans. Uh, yeah, it's going to be up to the fans. I think so. every fan will he don't, he, he shouldn't determine what the fans think about it. Uh, but uh, I thought I, I became a product of my environment as far as adjusting to what I had to adjust to from a basketball standpoint. Um, you didn't have a lot to work you know, with. Win, lose, a draw. But, you know, I, I was there every night. Uh, True. I came and competed every night. True. Uh, I stayed professional throughout. You know, all the. He did. Of, he you know, didn't throw no. Well, you did. Before. He did. Um, you stayed professional. There was a lot of noise, so I had to find some type of, uh, you know, quietness and you know, find some me time. You know, try to figure this all out. But yeah, uh, I don't think the fans would have. Anything bad to say? Cause they, they, I think they, they shouldn't, man. They, they shouldn't. Educated. You came, you balled. You know what I'm saying? Understand what it's like. Didn't have no you help. I well, think Omari Stoudemire was, was the best until Porzingis got there. Just, you know, playing in New York and um, off the court, I was, I, I was very, um, you know, engaged with the community, engaged with the youth, uh, family, friends. Uh, you know, I, I always feel like I'm a major, major part of that city. So that. That's not going anywhere. And I just want those fans to understand that this was a business decision. This was a you know a career decision. And, um, 
you know, it, it happens. It's sports. Uh, you know, it, it's time in sports where everybody got to go their separate ways. And I, I understand, no but bro, you, you was, you was no so bad. close to being on the Rockets, playing with your, with your good friend Chris Paul. What happened, man? What happened? What happened? What happened? Chapter, what happened? Chapter, what happened? It's a new chapter. Three guys have been lead dogs on their team, and they match. Do you see that as a problem? And two guys it's not going to be a problem. He's going to be Russ's team. Paul's going to be second fiddle. Um, Melo's going to find his role. I don't see how. Um, which is don't don't shoot. Uh, Melo's just going to be shooting. What we're going to face is the chemistry right. early. You know, getting them, getting to know one another. Um, not trying to make it all happen all in one night, all in one game. Uh, and, and understand that this is a process. This is a this is a marathon. And, you know, it's gonna take a it's gonna take a little bit of time to you know for us to gel. Not just us three, but the whole team get a chance to, to know one another. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's, it's basketball, and um, you know, I'm, I'm not. It shouldn't be that hard, man. It shouldn't be that hard. Just like, you know, Chris Paul and uh, James Harden. It's not going to be that hard, man. It's two great players that want to that play together. I we're going to do that. I'm going to bring you know, my skill set, you know, here to this team, here to this organization. And, you know, that's what I'm here for. And I, I, I've always been kind of a product of my environment and being able to just uh, be a chameleon, a chameleon in the sense of, just blending into my situation and making that situation work, whatever it calls for. Whether I was with the New York Knicks, whether I was on the USA team, uh, and even here all along. I know that you've carried off a lot of the scoring load on your teams throughout the years. Just what does it mean to you to look at the roster, look at these guys, and recognize that you don't necessarily have to do that anymore? Yeah, I don't. Want, I don't it's, it's a difference though, because I don't want to take the the load on of have to do it and score and 30, 40, 50 points every night, but I mean, I score. I guess, you know, that's what I do. I don't want to take that. Being really bad, I do that very well. Um, I think this team needs that. You know, He's I, a, you know, I score. I mean, that's so, that's what I do. I didn't come here to, <laughs> that's what to you do. Just be a real. That is what you do. I came here to bring my skill set to this team and, um, you know, and, and fit into kind of what's the point. I haven't, I haven't sat down with Coach yet to see kind of, you know, how we're going to play, what we're going to do, schemes and things like that. But for the most part, I just want to be, be able to do what I do best uh, within the confines of, you know, the system and what Coach wanted uh, and being being able to work alongside alongside Russ and, and, and PG. Carmelo, uh, you only got one chance to make a first impression, they say. What was your first impression? Did fans meeting you at the airport? Your first impression? Unbelievable. Was unbelievable. Like, of course they're going to go crazy for the go from a situation where it was just so, you know, it, it, it was an emotional roller coaster for me, uh, you know, being back in New York. Um, <clears throat> at times it was, it, was, it was very strenuous for myself and my family. Uh, you know, my family is actually, you know, still there back, you know, back in New York. So I just want to take my hand off to them for being able to stick it, stick it out with me and, and deal with that and deal with me after, you know, the long nights and the lonely nights. and. But to come here on the flip side of that and just feel that passion and feel that energy. Uh, and anytime you feel wanted and appreciated, you know, that, that you can't even put those, you know, those feelings into words. Alright. Um I mean, you know, I wish I wish Melo the best. Actually I don't wish Melo the best. I hope they lose every game because they're probably like, like this is gonna be ridiculous. Like they're like we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> it's like the Rockets, like, you know what I'm saying? We got, like, now we got to get somebody else, man. Like, I don't know who who else is out there. Ain't nobody else out there. Ain't nobody in the East. Ain't nobody in the East, bro. Like, there's, you got LeBron. LeBron, you want to come play with the Rockets? You want to come play with uh, Chris Paul and James Harden? You're not going to win. Whoever come out the West is going to win the championship, bro. So, you might as well just come on to the West. Join the Rockets, James Harden, Chris Paul, your good friend, your banana boat friend, Chris Paul, and uh, and Wade can come too. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Playing the veterans minimum. You know what I'm saying? Get him a little bit of money. Um, but damn, man, it's, this <laughs> this is not good. This is not good for the Rockets. <laughs> oh man, Paul George, uh, Carmelo Anthony. Russell Westbrook. It's not good for the Rockets.